makes his living uh, traveling the world, actually doing stand-up on cruise ships. He uh, is a warm-up uh, act for the likes of uh, Men Behaving Badly and Married with Children. You've seen him on all the major comedy shows, Evening at the Improv, name it. Very funny guy. Please enjoy yourself, Mr. Peter Fogel. <laughs> Get back in Vegas so it's nice to see people with the will to live. <laughs> Gotta be careful going to Vegas, please. Be careful. I was getting ready to perform on stage in this casino. This lunatic comes up to me, starts complaining, going, Man, I lost so much money in this machine, I ain't won nothing. I looked at him, I go, It's a payphone. <laughs> get, a, get a grip, Sparky, huh? Here's a dollar, play the change machine, break even. <laughs> <laughs> then I had to perform in uh, Ensenada. At a, Ensenada. Ever been to Ensenada, Mexico? You know what Ensenada means? Ensa, lots of nada, nothing! <laughs> I had to perform in an elderly nude beach. Elderly nude beach. 78 year old naked woman comes up to me after my show and goes, What do you think of my birthday suit? I go, it needs a little ironing. <laughs> I like performing around the country. I meet lunatics wherever I go. It never fails. No matter where I perform, there's always one guy that comes up to me after my show who thinks he and I are neighbors. You're from L.A.? I go, yes, I am. He goes, Sacramento. <laughs> Excuse me? L.A., Sacramento. <laughs> and I'm thinking L.A. is about six hours from Sacramento. I'm surprised I don't get your mail by mistake. <laughs> this is the same guy you meet in a mental institution. Paranoid, schizophrenic, you're kidding, psychotic. <laughs> you hear voices in your head, me too, me too. <laughs> Unbelievable, you're so lucky to be living in this town, but I was in Chicago. I, I've been around a lot, actually. and I uh, wasn't really in Chicago last week. Just let's say, for the next joke, I was in Chicago. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joke's four years old. All right, let's just say I was in Chicago. Nothing's, nothing phases people in the Midwest during the winter. Nothing phases them. Like 32 below zero, the wind chill factor. These people are outside having conversations. You know, Frank, you know what the problem with the economy is? <coughs> oh, my ear broke. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, help me find my lobe, huh? I don't care about the lobe. I had a diamond studded earring I'd like back. <laughs> You are a terrific audience, and, uh, and I'm very funny, so it works out well. <laughs> because if I was good and you sucked, I'd feel horrible. <laughs> I didn't tell Steve tonight. I, haven't, I, I, well, I wanted to save it for everyone. I just became a single father myself. I'm really excited. I just wanted to share that. I adopted a, a girl, an orphan from another country. Thank you. A 20-year-old Swedish exchange student. <laughs> Quick impression, quick impression, quick impression. Arnold Schwarzenegger in every movie trying to save someone who's falling off a cliff or out of a plane. Schwarzenegger does this every movie. You ready? Give me your hand. <laughs> Thank you. I think comics should be like uh, singers. I think they should introduce jokes like they introduce songs. Wouldn't that be great? Like, ladies and gentlemen, next joke I'm going to do is one of my favorites. I, uh... <laughs> I, uh, I wrote this back in the year... Early part of 2000 was very funny then, and I think it'll be just as funny now. And it goes something like this. Very clever. Just broke up my Asian girlfriend. Too high maintenance, but I should have known by her name. Cha-ching. Thank you, you're beautiful. Try the VO. Thank you. I've given up trying to find the right woman in America. I'm going to go to a third world country. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Thailand. I'm going to find me a hot looking 70 year old Thai chick. Because they're low maintenance over there. They are. I can impress a woman over there. They, oh, yeah, I got a big rich American boyfriend. Oh, yeah, he got shoes. <laughs> Food. He's got a roof on a house. Took me a very expensive American restaurant. Sizzler. <laughs> Thank you, you're beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, we're all clueless men. I don't know, I'm at that age now. I should just settle down, have my first divorce. That's right. I, yeah. I want to get a little moody in L.A. In fact, I think women, in general, should just wear, like, T-shirts with disclaimers across them. Just like airline ticket has little, have little disclaimers. So you come home, there's your wife, your girlfriend, you know exactly what's going on in her mind. You go, there it is across the chest. My feelings towards you are subject to change without notice. Void, <laughs> we're prohibited. 
We reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. And my favorite, past performance is not indicative of future results. Five punchlines. Five punchlines. Count them, folks. Five. People now get married on Valentine's Day. Have you heard that? Come on, let's get, let's get married on Valentine's Day. Isn't that romantic? When do you get divorced? Independence Day? <laughs> you always tell if a woman is not too sure about going out with a guy, ask a woman for a home number, she'll always go, let me give you my work number. What do you, well, can't I have your home number? I'm never at home. <laughs> what do you mean you're never at home? I leave work, I circle the planet, then I go back to work the next day. <laughs> That's right. I'm a hologram in nice clothes. That's it. I just wonder. Now, I think we're really clueless men when it comes to relationships. And this is absolutely true. The black widow spider will lure the male into her web with her scent. Then they will mate. And only after she knows her eggs have been fertilized, then she kills them. <laughs> Did you know that? Been going for thousands of years. Yet the other male spiders don't notice a pattern. <laughs> we don't get it. Clueless. Frank, where's Phil? I don't know. Last night he had a date with Charlotte. <laughs> In fact, I haven't seen Stu, Marty, Craig, Lee. I'll tell you, we're dropping like flies here. <laughs> you know you're really lonely, ladies and gentlemen. The highlight of your day is taking two different newspapers and comparing which horoscope you want to go by. <laughs> Can you imagine how frightening it would be to be an inmate in prison reading your own horoscope? Today, romance is in the air. <laughs> I'm Peter Fogel. Thank you very much for coming out tonight. I you enjoyed the show. Thank you. Come on.